So now that we've done our history and symptoms, the next thing we want to do is just take some ocular measurements. All we need for that is a ruler, right, the button lamp here, which we are used to assess the pupils. So it's got two light settings, got blue light and white light, and then we'll also take their key readings using the keratometer here. So the first thing we're going to measure is the horizontal visible iris diameter, or the HVID. So you just want to use your ruler for this. Just instruct the patient to look at you. Just place it against their eye. That's about 11 millimetres. The next thing we're going to measure is the vertical visible iris diameter, or the VVID. And as the name suggests, you're only measuring the part of the iris that you can visibly see. Just hold the ruler up. That's 9 millimetres. Okay, so now we're just going to measure the pupils, so we'll measure the maximum and the minimum pupil. So the minimum pupil is done under bright light, so we'll use the button lamp here. It's got a magnifier on it, so it can make it a little bit easier. So you just hold that up to the patient, just get them to look right at you, and just look through the magnifier, you see it's minimum pupil there, it's about 3 millimetres. Next thing we'll do is we'll measure the maximum pupil. So we'll turn the room lights off for this, and then we'll switch the button lamp just to UV light. Same thing again, hold it up against the patient, you can use the magnifier, measure his maximum pupil, that comes out at about 6 millimetres. Okay, so now we've measured up the front of the eye, we need to take the curvature of his cornea, or his key readings. So for this we're going to use the keratometer. So this is the Yavo Scheutz, this is a two-step keratometer, which means that you have to measure the horizontal and the vertical keys separately. So, we'll just show you how to set that up and take accurate readings. Okay, so now we'll show you how to correctly set up the keratometer. Um, first, just make sure that your patient's correctly adjusted on the chin rest. Just make sure that our acanthus is lined up with the marker there. Then what we'll do is we'll turn the light off. Make sure the keratometer is set up to its maximum brightness. And then what you want to do is use a pen torch and just shine a light through the eyepiece. Then you'll see that appearing on the patient's face. And then what you want to do is just move it just so it's in line with the iris see the corneal reflex. Just instruct the patient to keep looking at the green light and then now you can take the reading. Okay, so now we've got the patient up we can take the reading so the first thing we'll do is just take the horizontal case so you just want to look in just slowly come closer and then you want to just bring the myers into focus and then you just use this dial here just to bring them closer together and you just bring it just so that they're just touching ever so slightly and then what you want to do is just read the curvature just off from where the eyepiece is. So the eyepiece is always where you should be reading your curvature from. So if you look through here, you can see that's about 7.7. .7. And then what you want to do is, because it's horizontal readings we're taking, you take your axis from here. So his axis is pretty much 180. Now we'll flip it to vertical. Do the same, we'll look in. Myers don't need that much adjustment. So he's pretty much got a spherical cornea in terms of his curvature. We'll have a look again. So you're looking wherever the eyepiece is, this is where you read your curvature from. Let's have a look through it. 7.7. .7. And this time you're reading the axis from here. So that's about 88. Okay, so here we have the recording sheet for what we would use to record down all the ocular measurements. So the first thing we looked at was the HVID. So you just record that down there as we saw in the video, 11 millimetres. And we've got the VVID. This was down as 9mm, so you just write that here. Then we looked at the min and max pupils, you can see the minimum pupil, that was 3mm. And then we have the maximum pupil at 6mm. Then we looked at the K readings. Now obviously in the video we only showed you how to do the left, obviously we do right and left, and we record them both. So like the ones we've seen in the video here, write the left, so we would do the horizontal K first, so that's 7.7 .7 at 180. And then we had the vertical, that was 7.7 .7 at 88. Okay, so you've seen us taking those measurements from the patient there. Now you want to think about why we've taken these measurements and what way do they influence the parameters of the lens we're going to choose when fitting RGPs and softs. So if you have any comments or suggestions, if you leave them below. Thank you.